a fan. Has anyone ever made fun of your appearance? I know standing here in this room, everyone has probably been bullied at least once, maybe twice in your life. It's not the best feeling, is it? Today, I'm going to talk about bullying. Not just any kind of bullying, cyberbullying. What is cyberbullying? Cyberbullying is the use of electronic communication, typically by sending messages of an intimidating or threatening nature. Some examples of cyberbullying include mean texting centers, rumors, rumors sent by email, or posted on, so on social networking sites. Or even embarrassing pictures, videos of fake profiles. Imagine yourself. You've just came home from school and you want to look on your Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Tumblr to see what's happening. Has anyone made my day? No, but instead, I find some anonymous person who's done something very disheartening about me. Cyberbullying is wrong for many reasons. Firstly, it can change the way you act at school. Secondly, it can cause the onset and manifestation of psychological conditions. Thirdly, why do people do if they don't want it done to them? When cyberbullying is happening in schools, it can create a disruptive environment and makes you feel uncomfortable. Because imagine if you've just received the mean text message and you were sitting in class, your teacher is talking about maths, and all you can think about is that mean text message. But the worst thing is, the person who texts you is seeing three rows in front of you laughing. This makes you feel isolated, quiet, feeling like you don't want to talk to anyone. Like I said before, cyberbullying can cause the onset and manifestation of psychological conditions. These conditions include depression or severe anxiety. In extreme cases, it has been caused as a blame of teenage suicide. The other day, I was watching a movie about cyberbullying. This girl, she had just got a Plexus account on her laptop, but as soon as she made it, she had to go to school. And on her way to school, her brother hacked onto her account and put up something so horrible that she wanted to kill herself. Just because of one message, she wanted to kill herself. According to the National Crime Investigation, there was a survey report on why people cite bullying. 81% of the people they asked us wanted because it's funny. Who does that? I'm sure if the cyber bully got cyber bullies, they wouldn't be thinking it was funny anymore. But why would they do it? It's not funny. Some of the reasons why they cyber bully is because hurting others makes them more popular, which is not true. Hurting others makes them feel powerful. The less social ones do it because it helps them cope with their own self-esteem and they have trouble empathising with others. And why? So why do they do it? Barely any of those statements are true. Cyberbullying is bullying. Hiding behind a pretty face doesn't make it less hateful. Written words have power. So next time you have the urge to cyberbully, stop and think for just one second. What am I doing? What will be my consequences for my actions? Maybe you could be a better person. So the message of my speech is don't cyberbully. Even if you are the cyberbully, stop now.